if, like Michael Halliday, you view language as a resource, a number of other properties really fo follow. So, specifically, of course, a resource for making meaning. From that follows that you have an understanding of the vastness of language. That's a very vast system, precisely because it is a system not just for communication, not just for specifying grammatical strings, but for the awesome task of making meaning in human communities. To get at this nature of language as a meaning-making resource, uh, Halliday came to conceptualize it paradigmatically in the first instance, meaning as a system of choice, or system of interrelated choices. And once he began describing language in this way, he noticed that choices cluster into certain areas. And he asked himself why. Uh, and the answer to, to explain the clustering was that language is inherently organized along functional, according to functional principles. And that each clustering really represents an inherent functional in language, a metafunction, ideational, interpersonal, and textual, uh, broadly speaking. And these really represent different modes of meaning, so that relates directly to the notion of language as a resource of making meaning. Then other details follow, but this is really the central understanding of language uh, that has been pursued in systemic functional linguistics since the 1960s.